They've come to seek work in Britain. It's been 75 years since the Empire Windrush sailed to the docks of Tilbury. They begin their new life over here. And on it, around 500 Caribbean men, women and children about to shape the course of British history. Welcome to Tilbury. Seven decades later, descendants of those first pioneers retraced their steps. I truly believe that we can carry this on and carry on a legacy for our children and their children. So, yeah, it makes me feel really proud. They came because they were invited, answering a call from the motherland to help build the country back after two world wars. Those that are here today... Umze Deepas was among them, a veteran who moved from Jamaica to Bristol in 1968, and today he celebrated from an event in Wales. They're an extraordinary group of people who have contributed so much. The king, who was born the year the ship arrived, also recognised the defining moment in history. In London, celebrations kicked off at Waterloo Station, where thousands of Caribbean migrants would have once passed through. Then, representatives of the pioneering generation embarked on a walk to a service in their honour. A moment to remember the history, but also to acknowledge the livelihoods that have been threatened by the ongoing Windrush scandal. It's easy to celebrate and get carried away and have a party and have a good time. But actually, the most important thing is that people need to be compensated, but they also need their status. And whilst the past and present struggles were acknowledged, the contribution was the main focus of the day. Whether that be the food, the clothes, the music, all of which is becoming part of mainstream society. I have a granddaughter that's going to be um, arriving the 1st, 2nd of July, hopefully, and I want her to know what that generation gave. Today wasn't just about the first arrivals or the thousands that followed. It was also an opportunity for the hundreds of thousands of Windrush descendants to celebrate those who paved the way. Shaman Freeman Powell, Sky News.